In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get better control over your audio levels in Ecamm Live. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name is Alec and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, basically some fine adjustment that you can do with audio levels in Ecamm Live and this came about because uh, I sort of made a little discovery myself. <laughs> Not that I'm the first, I mean it's in the software, but something I hadn't realized and I uh, sort of noticed this about a week ago, something like that, uh, and uh, thought I was the only one who didn't even know about it. But then uh, it was mentioned in a group just, uh, just today in fact that somebody else uh, uh, had a question about it and so uh, I just mentioned that I'd found this thing and they didn't know and then somebody else commented that they didn't know about it either so I thought I'd just make a little video just in case there was anybody else who might find this useful. <laughs> so let me uh, just go into demo mode. This is going to be a pretty short video really but it'll just hopefully, uh, ho I hope it's useful to some of you. So I've got my Ecamm Live and I've got my sound levels window over here and I've also got my uh, sound effects window. Now, anything that you've got in your sound effects, so things like music and uh, and sound effects, <laughs> um, they are controlled by this sound effects volume slider here. So you can see at the moment, because I'm speaking, my, uh, my microphone here input is uh, bouncing up and down, so that's uh, obviously picking my voice up. And then the next one down we have uh, is movie volume. So if you've got movies uh, in your scenes and things like that, then this is where you set the volume for that. Uh, and then, as I say, sound effects covers anything that's in the sound effects panel. So that can be music uh, or just sound effects. Then you've got system audio, which is obviously the audio that's coming through from your system. Uh, and then the interview uh, mode. So that's controlling the volume of any guests that you've got on your interviews. So the thing that I want to talk about specifically is really this sound effects and the sound effects panel because uh, the little uh, epiphany that I had or discovery that I had rather I should say is that you can actually control the volume of each of these uh, items that you have in your um, uh, sound effects panel you can control those all individually. So why is this important? Well for example if I've got some background music let's say this that's a little bit loud to talk over, isn't it? <laughs> so let me stop it before it goes on too long. That is far too loud. So, okay, then let's move the slider down for sound effects uh, to something more reasonable. And now that's quite okay, isn't it, for a bit of background music. But what about if you've got a sound effect that you want to play, something like this? Well, you see, now that's not very loud, is it? So what we need to do with that is we need to move the slider back up again uh, and then try it again. Uh oh, I didn't do something stupid. So there you go, we've got that sound effect there. So the, the problem is, uh, well, it's not a problem because there is a solution that they've obviously thought about. <laughs> but the thing about it is that you've got different volume levels. Well, the little thing is basically here. If you click on this cogwheel for each of these items, you can actually set the volume here. So this slider here is for the volume of that individual item. So now if I reset the volume of this particular item, so that is just this piece of music, now that is still low and runs in the background, but this one that I've left at full volume, if I uh -oh. click that one, I didn't do something stupid. That one's still the same volume, so uh, I can still have the volume of my sound effect set to 100%, uh, and then I can just adjust the volume of these individually. Incidentally, while we're in here, uh, I have mentioned this in another video, uh, but you can uh, click on here and press uh, loop. So if you want to loop something, you can uh, loop it there. Uh, you can also add a hotkey so that you can uh, just trigger something by a hotkey. Uh, you can do it automatically within Stream Deck as well, of course, but if you wanted to, if you're not a Stream Deck user, then you can just add a hotkey. So if you've got some, I don't know, some outro music or some sound effects, then you can do that there. Uh, also, if you want a piece of music to play automatically when you go into a particular scene, then you can just click on this and click Add to Scene. And then what you'll see is it appears up in the top corner. So that would mean that if I went to another scene, for example, say this one, and then went back to that first scene again, then the music just automatically fires up. So, and if you want to delete it, you can just click here and uh, delete it from that scene. Uh, as I mentioned, you can uh, just loop the, uh, the, uh, the music as well. But by the way, if you have got a folder, say you've got a series of background tracks, then you'll notice that on the background folder, there is a cogwheel uh, next to that one as well. And you don't get the volume control sort of globally for that particular folder. Uh, but what you do do is you uh, do have is you have the uh, hotkey as well. So you can assign a hotkey for uh, this folder. 
and also you have the looping control and you also have add to scene so what that means is that if you've got a series of background tracks and you want that running in the background you can actually add that whole folder to the scene and then you can toggle on this looping one here uh, and that basically will then every time you go to that scene will start playing the music and will loop through all of the tracks that are in that folder and just keep looping round and round so that is all I've got for today for this particular video at least <laughs> and it was just this little uh, little discovery that I, I had uh, which I uh, certainly made my day I'm easily pleased <laughs> that you can actually adjust levels on a uh, track by track and sound effect by sound effect base, uh, basis if uh, you found that useful then uh, leave a note down in the uh, the comments and if you've got any other little nuggets of information like that because it's uh, it's easy to miss some of these things if uh, like me you haven't thoroughly read the instructions uh, I've got to confess a lot of the things that I uh, learned to do I learned by doing them and uh, sometimes I've not necessarily read thoroughly through the instructions so I'm sure there are a few other little things out there that I haven't quite uh, got my head around yet or noticed at least so uh, that is all for today. If you have found it useful, then obviously don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to leave a link to some more great Ecamm Live videos over on the uh, right hand side there. So until the next video, have a great day, everyone.